The Mexican Revolution began in 1910 and went on for an entire decade. It is considered the first major political, social, and cultural revolution of the 20th century. The majority of the population in Mexico during this time period were the mestizos, which were half indigenous and half Spanish blooded Mexicans. These people were the ones that rose up during the Mexican Revolution in a very violent armed struggle. Leading up to the Mexican Revolution, a couple of wealthy landowners at that time had decided that they could no longer put up with the old ways of Spanish colonial rule, known as la encomienda. They wanted a system that would allow the working class to benefit from their labor. The second event that led to the beginning of the Mexican Revolution was the control of Porfirio Diaz. During his 34-year rule, Diaz violated the principles of the Mexican Constitution. During this time, he attempted to develop Mexico into an industrial, modernized country by implementing a capitalist society. Due to his extensive rule and unfair treatment, the Mexican people were looking to overthrow Diaz. After the reign of Diaz, Mexico was left with a series of unreliable presidents. Francisco Madero replaced Diaz with a provisional government. Although Madero attempted to bring new ideas to Mexico, he failed and later was assassinated. The two great leaders of the Mexican Revolution were Francisco Pancho Villa and Emiliano Zapata. Pancho Villa was from northern New Mexico and led armed forces from the northern state of Chihuahua called the Northern Troops. The second great leader was Emiliano Zapata. In the southern state of Morelo, Zapata began rallying support from local peasants. Zapata began the El Plan de Ayala that was a reform to help landless peasants by redistributing stolen land from powerful landowners. Over half a million Mexicans died during the Mexican Revolution. All industrial and agricultural production came to a halt during the war. The next 30 years following the war was spent developing a government that suited the people's needs. They ended up dividing Mexico into two different political groups known as the liberals and conservatives. Many conflicts arose between these two groups. Lazaro Cardenas became president and radically changed the whole economic and social system in Mexico. He ended the Asiana system and distributed these lands known as hijados to peasants. He recognized the labor unions and peasant organizations and promoted their incorporation into the state party. He also created the Mexican petroleum industry while taking out the foreign-owned oil industry. This was the aftermath of the Mexican Revolution. We hope you enjoyed our presentation.